गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू रिकॉर्ड लेक्चर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ पावर पॉइंट प्रेजेंटेशन बाय यूजिंग ओ बी एस स्टूडियो ओ बी एस इज बेसिकली ओपन ब्रॉडकास्टर सॉफ्टवेयर दिस इज द सॉफ्टवेयर विच इज विंडोज फ्रेंडली एंड विद इट इज कॉम्पेटेबल विद अदर ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम ऑल्सो टू वर्क विद दिस ओ बी एस स्टूडियो यू रिक्वायर अ कंप्यूटर आज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ डेस्कटॉप और अ लैपटॉप विद अ इनबिल्ड कैमरा एंड विद इनबिल्ड माइक्रोफोन so let's uh, start the process okay so we are going to use uh, google and in google you just type obs studio download for example you can see it there then i can go to obs website from this website uh, there are these exe file or installer which are compatible with windows mac and with the linux what you need is uh, you have to install this uh, exe file uh, which are compatible with the computer which has 32 bit operating system or 64 bit operating system now i will use um, in my case uh, 64 bit uh, operating system installer which is this one uh, to confirm whether my computer is uh, uh, 32 bit i can confirm it by using again how to confirm uh or how to determine if the computer has 32 bit or not you simply find out this information so go to control panel to go to control panel you just type it over here control panel so and then go to system and security in system and security you can see the first three security and maintenance windows defender firewall and system inside system you will see a view amount of ram and processor speed just click on it and then you know, here on the in system you will see that uh, this my computer is having 64 bit operating system so this is how i confirm whether my laptop or desktop has 64 bit operating system uh, similarly you can do the by using the same process you can find out whether your computer is 64 bit or 32 bit if it is 32 bit then you have to use a 32 bit installer if you are using 64 bit then you have to use obs 64 bit installer okay so once i am confirmed with that i will go here and then i'll just click on this download installer which is compatible for 64 bit so it will take some time to download this particular uh, exe file so now you can see that uh, you can see the exe file of obs studio which is obs studio 250.8 full installer which is compatible for 64 bit computer so this is the exe file uh, it will the same exe file will be available for 32 bit computer as well so once after the downloading you just simply double click on it and then the obs studio will get uh, installed on your uh, computer either on a desktop or on a laptop so i will not uh, double click on this i will simply go to obs studio so this is a obs studio uh, software uh, and as you can see that there there are various options are available one is for scenes you can create different types of scenes you can have different sources for example you can capture uh, you can import uh, a website a word file image powerpoint presentation excel Uh, uh you can import uh, even a, a pre-recorded video inside the current uh, studio uh, this is basically audio mixer which is basically uh, receiving your voice and uh, certain other features uh, apart from that there is a scene transition and something which is absolutely important which is at this right corner that start streaming start recording this is the button which is you are going to hit on when you import powerpoint presentation so let me first import a powerpoint presentation in this slide in this uh, studio so there is a uh, just remove this so i'll start from the scratch so this is the source where uh, there is a add button so i'll click on it and then add a uh, windows capture and in this windows capture i'll just on this pop up window i'll just say uh, okay so that's it and after that you will get this properties for windows capture window and you should able to see here a powerpoint presentation since i haven't open it so i'll not open it again so i'll go to uh, basically uh, my 
desktop and then I'll open this my PowerPoint presentations. Uh, I'll make sure that PowerPoint presentation is ready enough to run on a studio. Yes, it is ready. In the slideshow, you go to setup slideshow and then generally this cursor, this black will, button will be here on this position. So you have to put it on this one, browse by individual window. There you need to have, so all your PowerPoint presentations, PPT slides has to have this black button at browse by window, uh, which is in bracket, browse by an individual in bracket window. So then hit OK. And so I'll click on this slideshow and then I'll again go back to this studio button. So I'll say cancel and I'll again double click on this windows capture and you can see that it is capturing my PowerPoint presentation. So you can see that here if I scroll it, I can see the folder, uh, I can see the Netflix and Microsoft store and immediately I can uh, also I can see the PowerPoint presentation. So I'll take this PowerPoint presentation, say OK. Now I can scroll this uh, scene uh, cap uh, in, in one particular shape. I'll have it not as big, I'll keep it as it is and then I'll have a video capture. So I'll just click on this and say click OK. Now that inbuilt camera is ready to take my picture and ready to make a live video. So I'll just say OK and it will create a small uh, capture. So I'll minimize it and I'll store it on this uh, on this corner. So both the things are ready now. Uh, 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 PowerPoint presentation as well as video capture. As you can see now, I have two windows. Uh, this is a PowerPoint window as well as this is a, a camera window where I, 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 you can see me in the form of live video. Now, before getting this PowerPoint presentation, you have to go to PowerPoint presentation and then, and after doing this, then uh, you will see, uh, you will able to see all your PowerPoint slides inside the OBS studio. So inside this OBS studio, now we will start with our recording. And in this recording, uh, you can see that I will hit on a start recording button and after hit, hitting on a start recording button, uh, I will start with my lecture. And then once I finish two or three slides, I'll stop the lectures and uh, again hit on this stop recording button. And that start to stop recording button that entire time frame will be recorded in the form of a uh, mp4 uh, uh, mp4 file and that need to be edited a little bit on the initial side and at the end side and then we can upload it, those file on youtube okay so uh, that is the entire use of obs studio and uh, you can do variety of things with obs studio but right now we will first focus on this powerpoint presentation okay so I'll now go to start recording button and then we'll begin with my lecture. So that is ready. So, okay. So uh, today I'm going to speak on uh, plant breeding. So there are five units, uh, plant breeding, definition and objective, hybridization, the process of hybridization, clonal selection and heterosis and then the biostatistics in biostatistics we will be discri disc uh, discussing about uh, descriptive statistics mean median mode standard deviation standard error and the inferential statistics which is another part of biostatistics uh, with student t test so what is plant breeding plant breeding is a basically a science of uh, a recent origin and there are this uh, according to Chaudhary who is one of the famous uh, plant breeder in india he has defined plant breeding as a improvement in the heredity of crops, production of new crop varieties which are far better than the original type. There are a few other definitions. For example, Smeed in 1966 has defined plant breeding as an art and science of improving genetic patterns of plant in relation to economic use. Plant breeding is usually defined as an art and science for improvement of crop plant science. It is basically one of the area of plant science which deals with the crop domestication and creating a lot of new varieties which are uh, good for the mankind. 
Um, so you can see the role of plant budding as well. So and so and so forth. You just have to go along uh, like this uh, till you finishes the entire lecture, and then. You you can see there is a stop recording button. So I'll hit on the stop recording button. Okay, and it is now recorded. Uh, it is kept in a MP4 file. Now in I, I need to see that file. So I will go to this file show recording, and then I think this is the that file. So that is ready. Yes. So this so, is what the Present okay. entire so, presentation. Uh, today I am going to. So you have just seen me uh, preparing the entire lecture, uh, importing the PowerPoint slides inside the uh, OBS Studio. Then I have imported uh, just a video capture device to see myself uh, in a camera. Uh, started the recording and then stopped the recording. And then, then after stopping the recording, I can immediately see in my uh, video folder the prepared, pre-recorded lecture. So once that is done, then your job is completely uh, completed, basically. So you just exit the uh, OBS Studio, and uh, okay, so that is completed. Now I'll just uh, shut down my uh, PowerPoint presentation as well. Uh, I'll check all those video slides and then I have to if am I, am I, if I'm preparing two or three series of lectures which need to be a part of one topic then I can club those uh, all those videos by using video editing softwares and then uh, that is the entire lecture which is ready to upload it on YouTube so thank you for listening and I hope that uh, with the help of this particular video I you should able to use OBS Studio and prepare your lectures. Thank you.